Hey everyone, here's a question on rational numbers. The question is, give three rational numbers between 3 by 6 and 3 by 4. Now remember there are infinitely many rational numbers between the two rational numbers. So infinitely, out of this infinitely, they want only three rational numbers. So when you're solving this type of questions, the very first step is to check the denominators, if they are same or not. If they are same, you can proceed with the second step. If they are not same, the first step will become, we have to make it same. So here we have a 6 and 4, so obviously they are not same. We're going to make it same by taking LCM. So we're going to take the LCM of 6 and 4. So LCM of 6 and 4 is 12. Now the second step will be you have to make the denominators 12 equal to 12 so you, you might have learned how to find out the equivalent rational numbers right you're going to multiply uh, we have to make it uh, 12 so the first number is 3 by 6 so this 6 I want to change it to 12 so with 6 what we should multiply to get 12 it is 2 so you're going to multiply 2 in the numerator also so 3 2 is a 6 so it's like finding an equivalent rational number so 6 by 12 is an equivalent rational number of 3 by 6 so instead of finding the rational numbers between 3 by 6 and 3 by 4 we're going to find between 6 and 12 because they are equal if you cancel 6 and 12 you're going to get back 3 by 6 again fine the next number here is 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 same step I am gonna here uh, change the denominator to 12 so with 4 what we should multiply to get 12 it is 3 the same 3 you're going to multiply in the numerator so 3 3 is a 9 and 4 3 is a 12 now we have to check the numbers see we got 12 and 12 now look at the numerator we have 6 and we have 9 now between 6 to 9 how many numbers we have we're getting so 6 and 9 we got 7 and 8 right only two numbers we got here but in the given question they are asking us to find out three rational numbers and we got only two that is seven and eight then what to do uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to find out equivalent rational numbers again but this time we're going to find out the equivalent rational number of six by twelve and six nine by twelve okay it's simple it's not that difficult we're going to again multiply now this time we have to find out the more gap between six by twelve and nine by twelve so since they are asking in the question to find out three rational number so you're going to multiply with any number greater than three don't take three because if you multiply with three you're going to get back only ex you're going to get two rational numbers between these two we want three or more so you're going to multiply with any number greater than three so we're going to find out the equivalent rational number again so you can pick any number greater than 3 okay not 3 you, sh it, you can take 10 12 13 anything it's completely on you so here 3 by uh, not 3 i'm going to take 6 by 12 and 9 by 12 so 9 by 12 or 6 by, first let me take 6 by 12 so here i'm going to multiply with 10 because it's easy to multiply so 6 multiplied by 12 uh, so 6 multiplied by 10 and 12 multiplied by 10 so this will be equal to 60 by 120 and here 9 by 12 I'm going to multiply 9 by same number you should multiply for both the numbers you should not change because the denominator has to be same so this is 90 by 120 so if you see here now we got 60 by 120 and 90 by 120 between 60 and 90 we have many numbers 61 62 so on up to um, 89 8 90 88 89 90s and out of this we want to pick only three rational numbers and that is the reason we have again multiplied if there is a sufficient gap between these two that is 6 by 12 and 9 by 12 and they are asking us to find out only two rational number then you have you would have taken 7 by 12 and 8 by 12 now since there was not a sufficient gap that is why we have to again find out the equivalent rational number so here 60 by 120 is a equivalent to 6 by 12 and 6 by 12 is equivalent to 3 by 6 ultimately all these numbers are actually equivalent okay we are just like multi uh, we are just multiplying with a bigger number so that the gap between these two will be more and more rational numbers we can get in if you in case in other question if you got m sufficient gap between the two numbers then you can you don't have to do the third step that is the step which I have done with the blue color you don't have to do that you have to do the step only if there is a no gap between the two rational numbers alright now therefore I'm going to conclude the answer 
let's see I have multiplied here with 10 you can multiply with 5 you can multiply with 50 you can multiply with 100 that is why I said there are infinitely many rational numbers so your answer may not match with my answer or your teachers answer but your answer will be correct here so let me conclude so therefore three rational numbers three rational numbers between 3 by 6 and 3 by 4 are you can take any randomly three ra numbers you can take let me take 69 here 69 by 120 I'll take 75 75 by 120 and uh, the last one I'm going to take here 88 88 by 120 I have taken randomly three between 60 to 90 don't include 60 and 90 so that's it I hope this question is clear in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching